All right, and looking like this first match we're kicking it off with is going to be Lazy Boredom versus PES Peepnut. Yeah, Phantom Esports Peepnut versus Lazy Boredom. I'm actually really curious to see how this goes because Lazy does have experience in this matchup, and Peepnut also has pretty good experience in the Little Mac matchup. And a relaxed book is a decent Mega Man yeah. from South Carolina. And they do play against each other pretty frequently. And uh, that, uh, these two have played against each other before, I believe, as well. Uh, back in, in South Paradise? Carolina, a oh, long time ago. Oh, Tiger Smash. Not, not too, too long, but it was a while. But um, so, well, I'm not sure who won that time. I think it may have been Lazy. So, we'll, either way, we'll see who gets to come back here. And Lazy just coming out swinging so far with 97% already done on Mega Man right now. People not kind of struggling to find his footing, trying to get back to the stage. People a little lucky to get back to stage twice in a row there. Uh, that's not the easy thing to do against Lazy. Yeah, avoiding the down smash. And there it is. Calling Third time it to turn. right out. Only 36% on Lazy right now. Coming out swinging just like Little Mac does. KO Punch ready to go right now. People has got to be really careful. Yeah, he's probably two or three hits away, but last hit of that knocks it off. Yeah, and there it goes. But Peep Nut still not out of the woods right now. By no means. To get back down like to the it, stage. Like he's, he's barely avoiding being lapped right now. Yeah. And, you know, it's a real struggle for Mega Man, especially when he's down like this, because he has to build percent so slowly. He doesn't have any super reliable kill setups, you know, sub 100 percent. We saw it right there in the, the neutral exchange, as just seen, that he did not realize that. You know, he realized he's going to have to zone him out. He can't just play on top of him. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, because this entire time, Lazy has been just decimating him. Yeah, and Lazy Vorda, one who's really used to, um, you know, a lot of players in North Carolina trying to exploit those types of zoning um, situations. So he's really adept at getting in and, um, you know, capitalizing as much as he can. His punish game is just too strong Jesus. right now. There it is. That's a two stock. Only 63%. Ooh, what a way to come out swinging there for Lazy Boredom. So he takes the first game. It's 1-0. That was pretty count. brutal, man. Like, that was rough to watch. Yeah. I mean, essentially, Little Mac can kind of run through everything that um, Mega Man has. You know, if Little Mac has the mentality to go, just go ahead and trade and get in there and get moving, you know, those pillets will not save him. No. So. No, I mean, I mean and Peep Nut. Back against the wall right now. Yeah, Holy cow! The uh, counter pick and Lazy Board. I'm trying to send a message real quick. I will take that two percent you gave me, <laughs> and in exchange, hold this yeah. twenty-one. Yeah, people not doing a pretty good job of zoning him out whenever um, he gets started. But every time he tries to go ahead and break that neutral game and get some bigger damage with some aerials, he just gets stuffed. Gets the up smash. He needs to capitalize right now. Ooh. Lazy Boredom taking it back with the jab. How many back like, this is not a traditional lazy play either. We don't normally see him stay smash heavy like this. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of movement. It's a lot of pivots. It's a lot of don't tell. Instead, yeah. he's just literally hitting him over and over and over again. Yeah. And he's being super aggressive in general too, uh, which may be something that he knows about the matchup where he's aware of the fact that Mega Man cannot out damage him. And he doesn't want to give Mega Man that time to set up and, you know, just try and zone him out and play the long game. KO Punch is still active right now. Palindromic percents just briefly, 96-69. People now trying really hard to get rid of that, but... Lazy Boredom gets the up B. Peep not in the air. He needs to get down to the stage right now. Resets neutral. Gets the grab, and that takes KO Punch off the table. Yep, goes for the bear. Lazy yep. ops for the early recovery. Yeah, op up smash is enough oh, to do that it. Takes it, so really nice comeback there uh, from Peep Nut. Did not look like much of that match was going in his favor, but I mean, the time to clutch it out was then, and he definitely did it. So still holding on to this lead right now. Peep Nut starting uh, now to find his footing. Um, you know, get getting more comfortable in this matchup probably. Ooh, the jab lock from the pellet. And as We're we see. Showing his own um, prowess here with this character that we didn't see game one. He's coming back answering right now. 65% on Little Mac right now. Oof. Duff's enough to do it. I was expecting, you know, the more patient playstyle to come out once you get that stock lead, you know? You have the ability to just camp that camp those platforms. But Peep has been playing the same style that we've seen the entire time. There's no rest. There's no recourse. There's no quarter. He has stayed in his face for the entire time. One down to will kill him right now, though. Yeah, this is super dangerous right now. But there it is. Gets just what he needs. And Lazy Boredom, just like that, on the ledge. But finds his way back to center stage. Oh, he gets the up tilt. And that KOs 
really great answer back from Peebnut. 1-1 one, one is the set count now. Um, honestly, uh, that was not how I expected the match to go. Um, the start of the match, it looked like Lazy Borden was still running the game, but huge comeback there from Peebnut. So really good stuff for him to kind of, you know, find his footing, um, get himself together and take that win with, um, you know, pretty commanding fashion in that second stock. Yeah, um, we've seen a lot from him. You know, he's really adjusted to those smash checks I was calling out earlier. It was very surprising to see Lazy play that aggressively and play that that in your face that you don't normally see. You know, he, he has he has the Floyd Mayweather boxing where it's, I'm gonna step back, jab one, two, step back, jab one, two. I'm not gonna overcommit to anything. I'm not gonna throw anything too hard. But instead of it played that entire time like a super heavyweight, just yeah. throwing out lefts and rights. Yeah, and it'll be super interesting to see how uh, Lazy Border kind of can answer back to that because he needs to make some adjustments. He was trying to just kind of overpower him both those games and it worked the first time not so much the second time i think peepnut may have kind of figured out what he needs to do so we'll see if there are any adjustments coming out from lazy as he opts for battlefield to go to game three this is lilat actually I'm, i said lilat in my head yeah, i know to say battlefield. but yeah blaze gordon coming out swinging as usual got peepnut off stage tacking on that quick damage Yeah, Lilat, Lilat, one of those secret good stages for Little Mac. You see, a lot of the times when this is left open compared to Triplets or anything else, this is going to be the counter pick. Yeah. More importantly, I feel in this matchup, Pigna really has to readjust how he plays. We see that little casual corner camping there just over the lip of that burner. He's putting out his projectiles at such a low angle that there's just not a way for a Lazy to approach him right now. He's very wise to that, and it's good to see that he's already adjusted to playing like that style on this stage. Yeah, and this is Lazy Border's counterpick, so um, he's really going to want to be looking to abuse all of his characters' um, uses on this stage. And it's a pretty even match so far. It's just, it's really hard for Mega Man to match the damage output that um, Little Mac has. He has to play so perfectly in neutral um, compared to Little Mac. So. I mean, really, it's just not possible. You know, it's, it's one of those, every time I do three, you do one, and we're even. You know, Mega Man's individual attacks, uh, F tilts, and the lemons do 2% apiece. Yeah, and oh, there's another up smash right there, taking the first stock off of Lazy Boredom. And this is what we were talking about. The adjustments are here. Peepnut trying to prime himself to take this set, but Lazy Boredom going to have to answer back quick as he walks into another up smash. And that has been his out of shield option every time. Lazy has to be very careful yeah. about how he plays around that shield. Yeah. He keeps overextending and just overreaching with these jabs and these punches. Yeah, but Lazy Boredom, 103% on Peepnut right now. He can end this stock quickly and get back into it if he can get this edge guard off. There it is. One good, up smash. That was a good recovery from Peepnut, but the up smash on the platform. Well, it's been a couple times now that he's gone for that jump when he's at ledge. He, he faints like he's going to grab ledge and then instead double jumps over onto the platform. Yeah. However, that's not a safe option on this stage. Meg, yeah. little, little Matt can just easily up smash as we saw there. Yeah. And now we have an even game. Yeah, Lazy Boredom not going to want to go down like this. Um, is this winner's bracket? Yes, correct. Okay, yeah. So winner's definitely bracket, not going to want to be in a loser's bracket this quick into top 32. Uh, but Lazy oh, Boredom off stage. This is, really this is not good right now. Oh, and, and he